this video. Today I did a makeup video and I'm doing it on the Revlon Photo Ready Art pens that you can get in the drugstore. Um, this is a beautiful uh, taupey style green or type green and then with a gold on the other end and they just unscrew if you've never seen these before. And you can get them at the drugstore in all different colors by Revlon. Um, so today I, I wanted to do a little video on it because I've been struggling with these. I wanted to play with them because I saw the glitter and who doesn't love shiny things? Um, so there's a couple videos out on them and uh, most people put it on really light and they all use this taupey, the taupey peachy brown one. Um, I forgot the name of it. But I decided to use the green one and I paired it with a brown shadow. Um, I like the kind of taupe kind of key down look of it but at the same time it's a little darker so I hope you like it too um, I have mixed feelings about it I feel like if it's too wet because I applied quite a bit I basically had to go in with my airbrush and just kind of dry it um, and then in part of the video you'll see there's a gap on one eye just on the lid um, with this lighting sometimes it's tricky to see it but it's from the flipping up and it not being completely dry so um, I think these are pretty good um, but you, I mean, I had a an eye concealer on there, an eyeshadow base, and then I reapplied. So I think you have to touch it up, let it dry, do the glitter, and then you have to check it. And I don't know if that's worth all the work, but um, they are quite pretty. And I do like the color I have on. And I've gone in and I did touch it up the very end. So um, I went just to my lid. Um, so if you were doing it, um, if you're using the gold maybe to line, I think it would work well. Or if you were using the shadow um, and just did it light, that might work well. But um, play with it. I mean, see if you like the video. And if you do, like, share, and subscribe. Give me your comments or what you think. Um, I love hearing from you guys and I respond to all the comments. And of course, click the bell for notifications on my latest videos. I hope this helps. And if anything, you saw a different color on a different skin tone and perhaps inspired you to purchase one or even just uh, do a different look. Anyway, thanks so much and watch the video. Bye-bye. Hey guys, thanks again for joining me with my video. I'm going in with a concealer brush. Uh, it's just a MAC flat brush. Any flat brush I think would do. And I'm spreading the eyeshadow color across my lids. Now I already have an eyeshadow base and I recommend putting one on just because I think it's going to help uh, make it look less crinkly. So definitely do that. And I'm going in, now keep in mind I've already done a little bit of uh, foundation concealer and all that stuff so I'm really just focusing on the eyes I saw these pens in the drugstore and I thought they were really pretty but I gotta admit I've been kind of struggling with them because I find they gap a little bit so I definitely recommend doing an eyeshadow base and then um, letting it dry and I actually use my airbrush to kind of help dry so I've gone in and now I've done the glitter on top of the green and as you can see there's a bit of a patch on one eye and I missed it because of my lighting but I do go in in the beginning part and I tap that in so um, I've gone in with a brown shadow, and I apologize, these MAC shadows I have are older and they're in a palette, so I don't remember the name. So I'll do my best to kind of list what I can remember down below. But I'm going in with concealer and just cleaning up around the bro brow to sharpen it up, and underneath the eye, of course. And then I've gone with the eyeshadow and gone down below the eye, in the crease, and I've just touched it up. I did put it on before I put the shadows, just to help with a cut crease. And I'm doing a very thin line of black. I'm not doing any cat eyes, just to hide the lash line. And I'm doing my duo glue once again. So I'm popping on those lashes, and I'll list those below as well. They're a very long, wispy lash that I found on eBay, and I love them. They're kind of a mink. They say they're mink. I don't know if they're real mink. I have a whole video on that, so I'll, I'll tag that so you can see that. But um, I'm going in with a smaller MAC brush, and I'm just kind of doing the bottom shadow. And now tapping into the crease just to keep it a fresh, even look. And that's really, I use those two colors. I love the kind of taupe, kind of low key of the look, but yet there's this beautiful gold glitter. So I do love the colors of this. And if you can make it work, I think it's great. And I decided to do my whole lid because it was actually not a lot of glitter in my opinion. So as you can see, it's quite pretty. And I did some gold in the corners and some shadow on the ends. And I went in and touched up my lipstick and fixed the beauty mark. And I hope you guys like this video. Um, I had fun making it. If you have any suggestions, put them down below. If you love the video, put them down below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, it helps, and I love hearing from you guys. So once again, this is my uh, attempt at Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. I hope you liked the video. It was a blast to make. 
Enjoy. See you guys later. Bye-bye.